today we're going to help you use your Bitmoji in your Gmail, in your Outlook, in your email application for messaging to complement your Bitmoji classroom. So the first thing we're going to do is insert your Bitmoji into a Gmail message via the Chrome extension. So here I am in my Gmail. You'll notice the Bitmoji uh, extension is already installed. If I hit compose, I will have a Bitmoji icon right here in my toolbar. So I can just click that same as the Chrome extension. I'll get my uh, options here and I can just click and paste that into my message. However, you should know it links to the Chrome Web Store. So I would highlight it and remove the link so you're not advertising uh, that in your work email. All right, that's number one. Number two, we're gonna put your Bitmoji into your um, signature of your email. So like this, I hit compose and you see this little message. Thank you, Wes from Because We're Teachers and my little soccer Bitmoji here. So how did we do that? We go to settings up here, click see all settings. And on this page, there's a section called um, signature. So right here, it goes at the end of all outgoing messages. I'm gonna type this here and insert my Bitmoji. But since I've already had this done, I'm gonna create a new one. So you can have multiple Bitmoji signatures. So I'm gonna say, uh, because we're teachers too. And now I have a blank playing field. Uh, I'll just put sincerely Wes and Darlene from because we're teachers, all right? So that's the message. Now, how do we get the, um, the picture in? Now you can do image and you can upload something um, from your Gmail uh, uh, to your Gmail settings, or you could have a doc right here, uh, a Google doc with these pasted in from the Chrome extension. And you can just come over here and then paste them into this field right here. So you see how that works. And then you just go to the bottom and you click save changes. And now when I click compose message, I have this option here, but I have two signatures. And so I want to decide which one to use. So let me show you that setting very quickly. Uh, here I have BWT one and two. So I'm just going to toggle that on. And then right here I could set signature defaults for new emails. Uh, we could have the, be the first one or the second one. So I'm just gonna save that. And then I'm gonna close this message here and we'll go new message. And now that I've saved my second signature, you can see that it pops up right there. All right, next, let's add a Bitmoji into our um, Outlook signature. So we're diving into Outlook here. Now, when I go new message, if I wanna put a Bitmoji in here, you can see I've already customized my signature. But if I wanna put a Bitmoji here, you'll notice there's no toolbar here from the Chrome extension. Um, so it's not compatible with Outlook. So if I go to my Bitmoji and I choose something and I say, right click, copy image. When I come down here, I can right click and choose paste. This normally works. Uh, there we have it. And you can resize that um, to be in your, in your message. All right. So let's go to our second um, Outlook task and that's customizing your email signature. Click the gear icon and then type in email signature right here. When that pops up, you'll see your email signature is right here. Now I don't see the option to have multiple email signatures. So we just have this one here, but let's, for the sake of argument, delete everything. Now I can upload an image from my computer, um, but we're used to copying and pasting the Bitmoji images. So I'm just gonna come over here and um, I'm gonna try it via the, the Bitmoji Chrome extension. I'm gonna go right click, copy image. And then what I'm gonna do is go to that section in Outlook and paste. And there it is. So I'm gonna resize that so it's better fit for a signature, uh, make that smaller. And then I'm just gonna put my name above it and I'll say, uh, thank you, Wes from Because We're Teachers. All right, and that's our signature. I'm gonna automatically include signature on new messages that I compose and I'm gonna hit save. Now we're gonna test that. We've saved and let's close this panel, go to new message and voila, there it is. Let me discard that, make sure it's clear. Let me discard this one, make sure it's clear. New message, and then 
here we have thank you west from because we're teachers and then my bitmoji is part of my um, signature but that's not all there's more that we can do let's change our gmail profile pic to be uh, our bitmoji so that it shows people who uh, may are receiving messages um, from me or if uh, i'm looking at my chrome identity my gmail it could be my bitmoji as well so i'm going to click my profile icon top right and then i'm going to click this camera over the profile and now it goes right to my google drive so i can upload a photo but i've already uploaded this one here i'm going to make that my uh, profile photo and then now we see it's already replaced it right there now let's say we want to do the same thing on Outlook. Let's go back to my Outlook. I'm going to click this profile image here and I'm going to click my profile. It's going to load up uh, a, the profile image I have. Change picture will be enabled and then I will have to click new picture and then I can upload something here. So I'm just going to choose this one. It's a picture of Darlene and I, our Bitmojis running and I'm just going to put that over me and click save. And now my Outlook profile pic right here is my Bitmoji. All right, let's keep rolling. Here we go. Um, here's another tip is how to email your Bitmoji to yourself. So this one you'll have to do on your phone. All right, so we wanna email our Bitmoji to ourselves. So what we're gonna do is open the Bitmoji app and we're going to, um, let's say we wanna adjust the fashion just a tad. Uh, I'm going to put him in something that's more formal um, and then okay that's a little bit better oops I don't have ripped jeans like that I'm not that cool mm. something a little more formal that's good okay so I'm going to click save and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say hi and then I'm going to take this one right here now, uh, I've selected this one and what we're gonna do is just swipe to the right and we're gonna find, you, you can save. So the little purple arrow there, you can save or you can use an app like this, Gmail. And I'm gonna send it to um, Because We're Teachers and it's off and running. So now I can come over here because we're teachers and I'm gonna look in the inbox, I'm gonna refresh that, that I created on my phone and I emailed to myself essentially that pops up right here. Uh, I you can also upload it to your drive. So I'm just gonna say, because we're teachers at gmail.com, I'm gonna save it into tutorials. And so we can get it in, um, we can see right here, this just came through and now I can download it right here. I've got it in my email from the Bitmoji app, or I can go here and I've uploaded it to my drive and I can just click recent and I will see it right there. And so now I can access them on my, on my laptop or my desktop instead of my phone. So that's another way to access them by emailing them to yourself. All right, let's keep going. Um, let's, Let's look at this. What if you wanted to have, because we know that Bitmoji changes as you update the, the fashion and the avatars, and sometimes you want to go back to a certain look. I'm gonna show you what I call the professional Bitmoji directory. Um, when you're playing and having fun with friends, it's easy to change your outfits and then share, but there may be a standard a set of Bitmojis you wanna use in professional, um, slide presentations for professional learning or emails. So I created something called the Bitmoji Professional Directory. If it's an email addressed to your boss, you might wanna have something that looks like that. An email addressed to your colleague, you might wanna have something like that. Let's say you have a team of PE teachers you work with and you wanna kinda of show them, hey, we're like-minded, I'm on that fitness tip with you. We have a bond over the curriculum and passion for your subject area. You might create a specialized Bitmoji. And if you just keep them in a Google Doc, you can actually just bookmark that into your browser so that anytime you open up Chrome, let's say, and you say, hey, you know what? I'm writing an email and I'm gonna bring up my professional directory. I want that PE uh, Bitmoji. It's right there, it's been bookmarked and I'm gonna jump in and I'm just gonna throw that into an email. All right, that's how it, 
I'll say hi PE team and then that's how easy it is to create a professional Bitmoji directory and so the last tip is a beat Bitmoji keyboard on your phone so you can access it uh, so I just uh, type into your app store um, the word Bitmoji and you look up Bitmoji keyboard select uh, install and then it is now part of the apps that you use so if you text message I could say to my wife I could choose I type in the text area and then I hit um, keyboard icon at the bottom and I switch to my Bitmoji and then I'm just gonna put that one right there and send that to my wife it's very nice it's not professional that one but that's for my wife so Bitmoji keyboard is also another way to access Bitmojis inside of email applications or messaging apps all right, that's it for today. Hopefully you've learned at least eight different ways you can use Bitmoji with your email communications to help uh, support your Bitmoji classroom efforts. All right, remember to subscribe, give us a like, leave us a comment. We appreciate you and we'll see you next time.